What we got is, is some property down under the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge. It's the only bridge in the state of North Carolina that the state doesn't own the bottom to. Um, my company owns a pie-shaped piece outside the gate, the gate, the wrought iron fencing around it. I did all this stonework and built this entranceway about 20 years ago with the state's permission and, of course, the fact that it was my land on either side of it. We own the gate, the chain, the locks. The state keeps locking, putting locks around my locks. They've been told by the sheriff's department and the police department that they can't keep cutting my locks. But every day they cut my locks and they cut them again and again and again. Um, I just opened the gate. We're going to go inside and I'm going to walk you through this piece. I've been using this property as industrial demolition space where I recycle, sort stuff out. I bought the land and started backfilling it. The state gave me permission in writing to backfill a piece that they own. We own 1.1 acres on the river, 200 foot of waterfront, 20 foot deep, zoned industrial. masonry materials, brick, stone, concrete, and sorting it out down here, reusing it, tile. We reuse about 98% of what we touch. About 18 months ago, I saw the state down here moving some of my stone around. And I said, what are you guys doing? That's my stone. They said, he's crazy. And I said, yeah, he's crazy, but it's still my property and that's my stone. They kept moving my stone around. About two weeks later, they started forming an area, concrete forms, forms to pour concrete. And I said, what are you doing? That's my property. They said, he's crazy. I said, yeah, but it's still my property. Those are all tractor trailer loads of Belgian block, ballast stone, old historic salvage. state moved and broke it up. They did it so they can move this, they can put this generator station in. Now this generator station is for when there's a power outage so they can raise the bridge. Um, I have to give them access under the bridge for routine maintenance and repairs. I don't have to give them any of my land. That's never been the case. As you can see, it's right on the waterfront. Um, this blocks my access getting down to the waterfront. About two weeks after that last encounter that I had with them, an engineer by the name of Trevor Carroll came down to the property. And he said, Mr. Koch, I'd like to meet you on the property. He said, we messed up. We thought it was abandoned property. We see that it's your property. Um, we're going to have an, um, an appraisal done, get you a relocation package, pay to move your stuff, and pay you for the stuff we damaged. I said, whatever works out for the state, my neighbor is putting a fence in, and you won't be able to get to your generator station. If you'd like, I'll cut you a path while we're figuring out means to finish this and they were fine everybody was fine several K K Baggett with the state came out another lady with the state came out and they said 
we're going to pay you, find another piece of real estate. They hired a, a, um, an appraisal company. The company came out and I said, well, I'm 200 foot of waterfront. I have 1.1 acres, plus I have a written encroachment agreement recorded in the courthouse in 1997, which allows me on their property to store masonry materials. And uh, so they said, find another spot. We're going to get you settled by July 4th of this past year. And uh, while on vacation, a letter came in the mail telling me to basically jump in the river. But the special attorney general, who is works for the Department of Transportation, thought they could make me believe that because he arbitrarily says that they're going to revoke their encroachment agreement in the middle, that would deem this property, my property, useless, valueless. And I said, well, obviously that's not the case because it's over an acre on the river, 20 foot of water. We can load and unload barges. It's a pretty unique piece of property. And um, so anyway, they started cutting my locks. I would cut them, put them back. Finally, after they towed one of my vehicles, staged the scene, they threw cut locks on the ground after they cut them. And they said, he cut our locks. And I said, not only did I not cut your locks, but I could prove that I didn't cut your locks. Here, and I showed the cops the chain and the sheriff's department the chains with their original locks on them. They admitted those were their locks. Everybody went silent. They asked me at that point, what would you like to do? And I said, well, we've lived down here harmoniously for 20 years. I've been down here. I said, um, I could put the original chain back on with their original locks and lock my lock to it as long as they understand they can't cut my locks. They agreed not to cut my locks. The next day they cut my locks. And what this is about is a superpower, state of North Carolina, the Department of Transportation. They stole this land from me, then they admit it. They put a generator on it and they admit it, which belongs to me now, this generator. And, um, and, then, and then they just basically told me, you know what, you've been here 20 years, we don't care, your stuff's valueless, we're cutting you off, we're cutting your access off. Legally, they can't do it without an injunction or a ju like the same path that you or I would have to take. The state's not exempt. They still have to take the same path. Um, they claimed 20 years ago, whatever, 9-11, they, you know, they're worried about this and that. At the end of the day, we've never had an issue, we've never had a problem down here, except them stealing my land. Um, you can see the topographical differences. It's about, I raised this property about 12 feet high. I put 1,100 tractor trailer loads of hard fill. It was approved by the state. John Crowder, who's in charge of special waste for the state of North Carolina, 12 counties or 15 counties, said it was the cleanest hard fill site he had ever seen. We've never had any problems or issues and uh, until the state stole my property, said they would pay for it, and then decided because the appraisal came back in too high that they weren't going to pay for it. Um, CokeDemolition.com, 